guys welcome back to my channel so today I thought I would do an updated everyday makeup routine I haven't done one in quite a while I'm going to say last summer was the last time I did one so it's been a hot minute maybe nine ten months so what I use have definitely changed a little bit since then a little updated one for you guys as you can see it's nothing out of this world it's pretty basic but it's just nice when you're on the go you want to kind of whip your face together fast so it's pretty simple makeup look not a lot of products not a lot of time which so is a good thing so if you guys would like to see my everyday makeup routine then please keep watching okay so first I'm gonna start with my primer the wrong way the foundation that I've been using lately is the Maybelline Superstay um, it is a little bit on the matte side so I find when I use this like hydrating primer underneath then um, the two work really well together so I don't get too dry I'm not wearing a shirt but I promise there's one on. So I'm going to use this. Mine is in the shade Classic Ivory. I did notice with this though it does oxidize so I think when I repurchase it I'm going to go a shade lighter. L'Oreal Sponge. I actually have a video on this foundation. I did like a wear test with it. Um, Honestly, I wasn't expecting to like it so much because, like I said, it is more matte than what I'm used to. And usually matte foundations just don't work for my skin, but I was pleasantly surprised with this one. Little strings. Like, you need them to hang the shirt up, but when you're wearing it, they are so annoying and they keep coming out. For concealer, I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape. I have the shade Fair. So this is just like my everyday makeup that I do. Um, so it doesn't usually take me that long. I'm gonna say maybe 15 minutes. My eyebrows take up a lot of time. <laughs> so once those are done, I feel like it goes a lot smoother and a lot quicker. So next I'm going to set my concealer. So I have my Airspun powder. Um, this one is, so this one is the translucent extra coverage. Oh no. I wish they like had way better packaging for this because it is a really good powder, but God, it gets everywhere. So next I'm going to do my eyebrows just to get them out of the way. So normally I use my, precisely my brow pencil by Benefit, but I ran out. But I have this other pencil that I like to use. This is a drugstore one. It's the Brow Stylist Definer by L'Oreal. And I have the shade Dark Brunette. I know they say that eyebrows are not supposed to be twins. They're supposed to be sisters. But today mine don't even look like they're related. But will do. So I'm gonna move on to eyes. So typically I don't do super intense like eye looks during the week especially if it's just like um I want to quickly do my makeup and just get out the door kind of thing. What I do like to do is take a little bit of highlighter and I just put it all over the lid just to give it a little bit of something and then I just take whatever bronzer I'm using and I just kind of run it through the crease just so it kind of looks like I tried to do something but it doesn't take me much time at all and it's kind of using all the products that I already have in front of me that I'm going to use. I'm going to take my Becca highlighter. This is Champagne Pop. I'm just going to like dab it onto my finger. 
and just kind of run it across the lid. It just kind of gives you a little bit of something. It's just like that. So then I have my butter bronzer from Positions Formula. I'm just going to take some of that and just pop it into the crease. But just like that, it just adds like a nice little color, makes you look more put together, more awake, which I'm always here for. So using the same bronzer, I'm just gonna take this big fluffy brush and just bronze like the outside of my face. I guess the perimeter of my face. I think it's nice when you have products that are like multi-use and you can use them for different parts of the face. I just want to do a tiny bit of contouring so I'm going to take this Becca bronzer. I have the shade Capri Coast. Looks like this. I'm like almost out of it. It's very very sad. And then I have this Luxie Large Angled Brush. So a favorite highlight of mine for a long time has been this Smashbox palette. It's the Spotlight palette. Um, mine's in the shade Pearl. As you can see, it's very well loved. So a couple more steps so just mascara of course we always need that and lips so for mascara I'm going to use this Maybelline pumped up colossal mascara and it's in the shade black is black I'm just going to coat my top and bottom lashes Because I'm gonna get it everywhere. The thing left is the lips. So, usually, if I'm going to be going like all day, I don't want to have to worry about touching up my lipstick. So, I usually go with a liquid lipstick. This is like my go to one, it's my favorite one. It is by Stila. It is one of the Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks, and I have the shade Bocce. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. It's just kind of like the perfect, like, balance between, like, a pink and nude and, like, a mauve shade. Mauve, mauve, whatever. beautiful so I'm not going to put a gloss on today but the one I always have on hand I actually keep it in my purse is the one the gloss bomb by Fenty Beauty it's called Fenty Glow first of all it smells really good always important second thing I don't feel like it's super sticky like I don't worry about my hair getting caught in it or anything and so smooth and just make sure it lips look like nice and big I want to say juicy but We'll go with that. So this is the finished look. This is just typically like an everyday makeup look for me. Very simple, very easy. It's kind of like my go-to. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. And I will see you in my next one.